Hey everybody, welcome back to another It Figures review. Today we're going to take a look at the Master Grade Figurized Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Son Goku Model Kit. So first let's take a look at the box, shall we? As we can see we've got a nice graphic of a action Goku right there going into Super Saiyan mode. There's some nice images here just showing off uh, all the posability and the different expressions that he can do. Looks really nice. So as you can see, this is a master grade of the figurized. So all of these Dragon Ball model kits are figurized, but this is a special master grade, uh, I guess because it's bigger and it has more details and more articulation and probably more parts to put together as well. And of course, these are all done through Bandai. There we have it, Super Saiyan Son Goku MG figurized Dragon Ball Z. Some nice artwork of the man himself right there, freaking out. This kit cost me about $30, so around there. On the other side we have the exact same image. And now let's look at the sides here. As you can see he has multiple expressions. He's got his uh, kind of angry face and his screaming face. And on top of that there's also eye variations so he can be looking to the left or right or just straight ahead. As well there's uh, extra damage pieces so his costume does have some built-in nicks and scrapes like you can see right there. But on top of that, there's these sticker sheets that add dirt and little holes and tears depending on how battle damaged you want him. He's 25 centimeters tall. Amazing. That's a good shot of him. Uh, I'm not going to translate all this for you, but you are welcome to pause this and take a look at it if you want. And here he is from the back. We'll just take a quick pan up of that. He comes with his display as well to help hold him up and also to get some fireball shooting poses and flying poses and such. Now on to the other side. So yeah, he's got a lot of articulation going on. You can see he's got the muscle buildup system, I think they call it. Uh, he can get quite the flexibility and posability. Here he can do the splits in both directions. Looks like he can look pretty far back, as well as multiple hands, a lot of shoulder articulation. Here they're showing how the, uh, the rips and things are all built up. And you can swap out his faces, of course, with uh, the different eyes and different expressions. There he is doing one of his energy bursts. And this is the unpainted version, so if you're just going to build him straight out of the kit, this is how he's going to look. Why don't we open this fellow up, huh? So there's a lot of parts here, including a few screws and everything. But first of all, let's take a look at the little booklet here. We got some good art of him charging up there, very kinetic and nice looking. On the back, we've got a nice shot of uh, Goku's front and back, as well as all the different faces he can do and things like that, the different combinations you can do, and the different types of tearing and ripping and dirt on his face. So inside are all the instructions. and. Uh, Usually these are just kind of a, a one big pull-out paper, but they've actually made this into like a little stapled book, which is nice, but that's because this is so extensive. Oh look, we've even got classic Goku over there. This was one of the earlier kits that they made, actually. And you can see the different poses. This one's straight out of the movie, one of the older movies. Ah, there it is right there. I think it's a really nice likeness. And then we've got all the action poses, so punching and kicking, elbowing, fireballs. This is also showing uh, how to do the shading, as they recommend it. And the rest are all just instructions. So because there's so many pieces here, I'm actually not going to take these out of the bags until I'm ready to build it. But we can still take a look and see what he's got. There's Goku's face, screaming and angry. There is one set of stickers, so these are eyes and eyebrows, as well as uh, the scuffs and the rips and the stress marks. Over here we've got his hair, looking good. It's actually really big. Here is the stand, all that. And flipping it over you can see his clothing. These are his pants, I think. Here is the other set of stickers. I guess so one of these is decals and one of them are stickers. That would be his boots and uh, shirt. You can see the rips on there. These are all the joint pieces. 
And here's some more of his pants. So once again, he's got the rips and tears all going on. And then I guess some more joint pieces there, it looks like. Well, there you go. I can barely get this all into frame. Uh, it's so much stuff and it's pretty big. So stay tuned and uh, I'm going to do a live stream of building this soon enough and you guys can see me put this all together. And then after that I will do one final review of the completed kit. Otherwise, thanks for watching and see you next time.